Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Today I'm going to do some basic Spanish rice. Very simple recipe, kind of like my mom used to do it. My Canadian mom. <laughs> anyway, real simple, few ingredients. Here you go. So what we have here, got a cup of long grain rice, about a tablespoon of garlic, about a half a cup of chopped onion. I'm going to try some of this... Uh, Mom didn't have this, but this is uh, Tang stir fry oil. And we got a small can of tomato sauce. So, very simple. Here we go. All right, now, to start the rice, get a nice skillet, or you can do this in a pot. I'm gonna take some of this uh, Tang's stir fry oil. Put about a tablespoon in there. Not too much. So this thing stir fry oil, it's got garlic, onion, and herbs. So we're gonna try it out. Never tried it with Spanish rice before. So we're gonna get this pan hot. And we'll put in the rice. Alright, we got the pan hot. I mean, you can really smell the garlic coming off that oil. So we just dump our dry rice right in there. Start stirring it up. Get it nice and coated with the oil. So what we want to do is get this rice a golden brown, okay? So this is going to take a few minutes. Alright, as you can, might, should be able to see, the rice is starting to change color a little bit. It kind of starts out a little bit opaque and it'll get like a bright white and then I want to get it a little bit uh, a little bit brown before I do the next step all right back in a sec I don't know if you can see it it's starting to turn brown you gotta be careful don't want to burn it I don't know if you can see that it's starting to turn brown all right nice toasted rice all right, y'all. The rice is nice and toasted. A little light brown. All right. Now, take our onion, half a cup of onion, throw it on in there. All right, let's let that cook a little bit. Let that get opaque, as they say. Won't take long. All right, y'all. The onions are as done as I want them. They're nice and opaque. Now we're going to drop in our garlic. Let that cook a little bit until it gets fragrant. Until you can smell that garlic. This ain't going to take long at all. Just a couple minutes. Alright, now that the garlic's been in there for a couple minutes, I'm going to take and dump this whole can of tomato sauce in there. Stand back. Alright, get us a little bit of water in the can. About a quarter of a can. Dump that in there. Stir it up nice. All right, you want that rice pretty much all the way covered with liquid. So I'm going to take a little salt, some pepper. Oh, time to fill up my pepper grinder again. Stir it up, salt and pepper to taste. 
Now you can put green chilies in this. I do that sometimes. Green chilies is good in it. Let's look at this. One thing, got to make sure got enough liquid in there. I'm just going to put another little shot of water just to, just to make sure. You don't want your rice crunchy when it's all done. Okay, I'm going to crank my heat up, bring this to a boil. There we go. Alright, once that rice comes to a nice little boil, got to put a lid on it. You want to cut that heat back as low as it'll go. Set your timer for about 20-25 minutes and it'll be done. That's it. Don't mess with it. Alright, I'll bring you back when it's done. Alright y'all, rice is done so when you hit your 20 minute mark, shut your heat off and just let it sit for about 15-20 minutes. You can take the lid off, fluff it up, Spanish rice. All right, let's check this out. All right, y'all, here it is. Finished product. Spanish rice like mom used to make it. it smells good. Mom would be proud. That's some good rice right there. So if you ever need some Spanish rice for your Mexican dinner, it's just so simple. Fire it up. Brown the rice, onion, garlic, tomato sauce. Nothing to it. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Tune back in next time. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. See you next time.